Hi, this is Scott from Pipeline Effects. Here I will show off Cube's integration with Adobe After Effects and how it increases artist productivity by offloading rendering from the artist workstation, speeds up rendering by distributing that work, and provides feedback on the results. So let's go ahead and see it in action. First we'll bring up the Cube GUI interface. You can submit After Effects jobs directly from this interface, along with many other 2D and 3D applications. So here's the submission dialog for After Effects. We'll first set the application version we're using. In this case, it's CS3. So we'll come up by default, click on the Set Defaults button, and then we can fill in the rest of the fields and submit a job. However, to speed up workflows, you can also submit a job directly in After Effects. To do so, we'll first install the submission scripts. Click on File, Install App UI, After Effects AE Render. Then select the scripts directory for After Effects. This will install a few JavaScript files that allow you to submit the jobs directly from within that application. Now we'll launch After Effects. While it's loading, I'd just like to mention that Cube does work on Windows, Mac, and Linux, and can have all three platforms on your render farm at the same time. With the new submission time path translation, you can now also handily create content on the Mac and then render it on the PC render farm, for example. Okay, now After Effects is up, so we'll go ahead and load a simple scene file. Now click on the Render Queue tab and see that we have a few comps already in the queue. All of these comps are set to render out individual frames as that's an operating system requirement to allow multiple machines to simultaneously render out parts of the comps. So instead of clicking on the Render Queue button and rendering locally and thus tying up your workstation, click on the file, Scripts, Cube Submit AE Render, Render Queue. This brings up a pre-filled submission dialog, one for each comp in the Render Queue. See that the name, project, and render queue index are already filled in. We can now adjust some of the other fields as desired. For this job, we'll ask it to run five render processes concurrently by filling in the CPUs field. We'll also have each process run 10 frames at a time as opposed to rendering individual frames. On all these fields, you also have mouse over tooltips to give you more detailed descriptions. Now, of course, there are many other fields that can be modified for cube, though most of these are optional. We can also do that right now, or do this on the fly after the job is in the queue. The main thing that you have to do as an artist is just press the submit key. So we'll do the same thing for the remaining comps. At this point, the jobs have been submitted, and the artist can continue working or even shut down the computer. Cube will take care of the rest, render the results, and report back as far as the progress. Now we can bring up the Cube GUI, click on Refresh, and see how our job is doing. It's in the queue and rendering frames. As of cube 5.5, you can also see percent complete so you can get instant feedback on the progress of your job. For detailed information and feedback from After Effects rendering, you can check out the standard output and standard error panels. The graph and timeline gives you visual feedback as to the time it takes in order to render each frame or set of frames at a glance. There are a number of things you can modify on the fly too. For example, let's say you have a deadline and it's just gotten moved up. We can change the priority of the job so it's completed ahead of other uh, lower priority tasks. So instead of it being 9999, we'll change that to be 100, which makes it a higher priority task. We can also change the number of job CPUs that we're requesting. This is actually just setting the number of processes that we want it to run at the same time. So instead of requesting 5, we can go ahead and make that 20. So Cube updates the job with the request and adjusts the farm accordingly to complete your job. So here at Pipeline Effects, we're really excited about how this increases artist productivity by moving the time-consuming rendering off the workstation and then speeding up turnaround time by distributing that work across many machines. Please contact us for any questions or feedback you have about the Cube product.